Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Night Prayer for Sunday, October the 2nd. It's week 7 in the Psalm cycle, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 113, and Acts chapter 12, verse 1 through 17. And this evening begins the fall chapter in retreat for the mercy of God community. So I ask you, please keep them in your prayers. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed and by what we have left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise, O servants of our God Most High. Alleluia. Psalm 113. Praise, O servants of our God Most High. Praise the name Yahweh. May God's holy name be blessed now and forever, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Praise be the name of our God. High above all nations is our God, above the heavens God's glory. Who is like you, O God, the one enthroned on high, who stoops from the heavens to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust you lift the lowly, and from the dung heap you raise the poor, to set them in the company of rulers, yes, with the rulers of the peoples. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise, O servants of our God Most High. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword. And after he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. And when he had seized them, he put him into prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. While Peter was being kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him, and the very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell, and he tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly, and the chains fell off his wrists. And the angel said, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals, and he did so. And then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that it, what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and second guard, they came before the iron gate, leading into the city, and it opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along the lane, when suddenly the angel left him. And then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod and from all the Jewish people were expecting. And as soon as he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where many had gathered and were praying. And when he knocked at the outer gate, a maid named Rhoda came to answer. And on recognizing Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that instead of opening the gate, she ran in and announced that Peter was standing there. And they said to her, You are out of your mind, but she insisted that it was so. They said, It is his angel. 
Meanwhile, Peter continued knocking, and when they opened the gate, they saw him and were amazed. He motioned to them with his hand to be silent, and described for them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he added, Tell this to James and the believers. And then he left, and he went to another place. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, source of all wisdom and understanding, be present with the Mercy of God community who takes counsel in Philadelphia for the renewal of the mission of your church. Teach us in all things to seek first your honor and glory. Guide us to perceive what is right and grant us both courage to pursue it and the grace to accomplish it. Through Jesus our Savior, amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.